In today's video, I'm gonna show you you can fix a loose bracket like this in just a couple of minutes. It's easy to do, and you'll never have to live with something like this again. Now this could be a paper towel holder, toilet paper mount, or any kind of bracket that screws into your wall. In this example, we're gonna be fixing this bathroom towel hook. You're gonna start by removing the hook itself, and that's done by taking this small screw off on the bottom. And here's a support bracket that's causing us all the trouble. You can see the top screw is completely loose, and the bottom one isn't really too tight either. Next, we need to remove these screws. Now, if yours have already fallen out, then you don't have to worry about it, but take out any screws that are remaining. Now, the anchors holding those screws in are gonna come right out with the screw itself. And when you're finished, you're gonna be left with either one or two holes. Now, don't worry if these things look like a mess. That's gonna still be fine to do this fix. The problem with most wall anchors like this is when you screw them into the wall, they don't really have much to bite into. And in a kitchen or bathroom where you're constantly pushing and pulling on a bracket, it's gonna wiggle it loose. And as you can see, there's just nothing for this thing to hold onto except for the edges of the wall itself. But now we're gonna upgrade our wall anchor to one of these. This is called the toggle bolt. Once you put one of these in, you're likely to never have a problem again. When you put them into a hole, they've got those two little ears and they've got a spring inside so they automatically open up and those are gonna hold onto the wall as soon as they're tightened down. They kinda act like a mini grappling hook and when you tighten these things down, you'll end up with a bracket that's rock solid. Now that you know how we're gonna make the repair, let's get the job done. First, we need to remove any of the anchors that are on the bracket. So use a pair of pliers or a tool, hold onto them tight and remove the screws completely. Toggle bolts come in different sizes, but the ones you're looking at here are the 1 8 of an inch model, and these are gonna work perfectly and allow me to reuse those existing holes. Using a toggle bolt is easy, but it starts by removing those small wings. Then insert the screw through the hole in your existing bracket, and then re-screw those wings onto the end. And you wanna make sure that the wings are pointing towards the hole you're gonna be inserting them into. And since this bracket is using two screws, you're just gonna repeat the process for the other hole. And this is what your finished bracket is gonna look like. And don't screw those wings down too far. There needs to be enough space between the screw head and the wing so that it can insert into the wall and fully open up. And now we just need to push them into those existing holes. That might help to fold those wings up a bit as you're pushing them in. And there could be a little bit of resistance, but I wouldn't really worry about it. Just push on the end of the screw until that toggle bolt goes completely into the hole. And just like you saw at the beginning of the video, you're likely gonna hear a snapping noise, and that's the wings opening up inside the wall. And now we've just gotta tighten those screws down, but there's a catch you wanna be aware of. If you use a cordless screw gun, those wings are gonna spin around inside the wall. So you wanna put your fingers behind the bracket, and you're holding onto it to create some resistance. That's gonna make those wings press against the wall board, and now you can easily tighten these screws down. And I'd recommend putting these in by hand. You don't want to strip the screw out, and it's just going to give you more control to use a hand screwdriver like this. And as you get really close to the wall, you're not going to be able to put your finger behind it, so just grab a hold of the sides of the bracket. But there's another benefit to using these toggle bolts. You can see that you can move the bracket around a bit, so you can get it perfectly centered or up and down, and you'll end up with the exact position that you want. As you finish tightening up these screws, it's going to feel really good, and that bracket is going to be rock solid. And now with our bracket feeling great, all that's left is replacing the atom we removed, tightening that set screw, and the job is done. Toggle bolts have been around a long time because they're cheap and they do a really great job, but some people are gonna tell you that they don't work, but that's mainly because they don't know how to use them, they don't put tension on them while they're tightening them down, they're gonna spin inside the wall, and then they're never gonna make your bracket secure. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.